I grew up in a family of scientists, so practically my dad was a professor of physics. He is discussing what is happening at work. He is bringing graphs, some pieces of equipment which he's trying to assemble at home. So that was my childhood being raised. I grew up in the Soviet Union during the communistic regime. It collapsed uh, when I was close to graduating from the university. And I think another push to go into a scientific career was coming from the fact that at a time everything was so political and you practically have to lie all the time if you go in, in many different professions and scientist was one of the careers which appeared to be more politically independent. This feeling of discovering something new and something which is clear is going to be very impactful, it's impossible to overestimate the pleasure you feel in this moment. I read a lot. I love plants. I have plants everywhere. I also spend quite a bit of time with dogs and going for the long walks. And I think between plants, dogs, reading and taking care of the family, that is it. There's no more time left. More than 50 diseases of the brain are caused by genes that are longer than normal. At Yumas Chan Medical School, Anastasia Korova is developing RNA therapies to treat these diseases. One of them is Korea Huntington. In a certain gene of Huntington patients, there are short snippets that are repeated many times. This leads to proteins that are longer than normal. In the beginning, this is not a problem, but when the patients get older, these gene segments become longer and longer. Once they have a certain length, the faulty proteins become a problem in nerve cells. They lose their normal function, clump together, and the cells die. Huntington is interesting, a very unique disease because people are born normal. So you're born normal, you live normal, you go to school, some of them get the PhDs or very successful in professional careers, get kids, and then somewhere around 40 to 50 years, the symptoms appear out of nowhere. And usually it starts with some emotional distress, inability to control certain behaviors, and it's depression, and then career starts, which is uncontrolled movements. Generally, it's around 12 years from the time where the symptoms first appear to the time where people need to be institutionalized and they die and the last couple of years is very very severe so it's genetically inherited so the kids who are already born to a parent with Huntington they know what is coming and there's a 50 50 percent chance of the inheritance so with RNA, we have an opportunity to make drugs which are transformative. We have an ability right now to modulate gene expression or reduce the disease-causing genes to a very, very low level. However, for neurodegenerative disorders, the first huge hurdle is to get the RNA drug into the brain. Anastasia has overcome this massive problem in drug development and has made new RNAs that find their way into the brain. What we do, we make those molecules and we attach a dye to them. So when you can look at it, if the delivery is there and it's delivery throughout the brain, the brain becomes pink, so it's very easy to see. And when the first time we have seen the pink brains, that was an absolute a yahoo moment. Having solved the problem of getting into the brain, Anastasia is now developing RNA molecules that are taking action in the brain. The RNA shall prevent the outbreak of the disease by preventing the Huntington gene to grow longer and longer. This is what will be the focus uh, of the lab for the next couple of years, is now when we understand the molecular mechanism of disease to figure out how we can manipulate intracellular systems in the way that we reduce the number of the repeats and effectively get to the point of disease never developing. In every cell, there are natural repair mechanisms that correct mistakes occurring in genes. They also try to prevent the repeat sequences in the Huntington gene from growing longer and longer. However, this is not always successful. 
The new RNAs are designed to improve this repair mechanism and they shall stabilize DNA during transcription of the Huntington gene. If RNA therapy stops the elongation of the Huntington gene this way, the carriers of the mutation will have functional proteins for a lifetime. The goal is not to treat the disease. The goal is to prevent the disease from ever occurring. The knowledge you get and gain is directly translatable to many other diseases. She is basically doing work that is being done less well at drug companies in an academic lab. There is no one in academia worldwide who is even in her league. Her lab is at the forefront of really pushing science forward, uh, not only at the bench, but uh, taking it to the patient's bedside. She is a pioneer who fuels innovation with passion and integrity. She's fearless, which is, I think, the thing most people don't realize distinguishes a great scientist from a good scientist.